What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Uh, I've been getting some stuff ready for turkey season. We're right at uh, 30 days out from turkey season here in Indiana. Turkey season is definitely too late here in Indiana. I already got birds out strutting in the field with hens, but it's always late every year. But uh, just kind of get some stuff ready. Just figured I could bring you guys a quick update as I'm going through some of my turkey stuff. Uh, using the same shotgun as last year and the years before, but I did end up putting a red dot optic on this. So hopefully if the weather cooperates here in a few days or a week or so, um, I will shoot a video of getting this red dot sighted in on the Benelli. And just like all Sitka stuff, you guys know I'm a huge fan of it. I'm really anxious to see how that insect shield works. Uh, I'll be putting that to use this year in their turkey woods. So stay tuned for a review on that new Sitka gear as well. And we'll roll right into last year's turkey hunt and hopefully bring you guys some good footage for this season. Make sure and subscribe to the channel. Like this video, it just helps out the algorithm. And uh, stay tuned for more. Appreciate you guys. Here we go. All right, back at it, guys. This is for you guys that watched episode one. She's in there. Let's go. All right, feeling pretty good about this. Set up fairly close on this one here. Probably, I don't know, 150 yards away maybe. Not gonna do a long interview here. Time to get quiet. Hit some calls, see what happens.
All right, guys. <laughs> Man. Man, what another morning. This one turned out the way it's supposed to. And look at this. Just for all you guys that watched yesterday, that's what it's supposed to look like when you fully seed it and do what you're supposed to. Instead of closing it quietly, jammed that puppy in there this morning, left no doubts. I really have no idea if this is the same bird or not. Only three days into the season, but started day one, opening morning, about an inch, inch and a half of snow on the ground. First time ever for that in my 20 years of chasing turkeys. Uh, I called in a Jake that morning and then it started snowing again and it got really quiet. So headed out, went back to work. And then yesterday morning, you guys watched that video, had a really good hunt, called in two toms. One of them you saw on video and then you got to hear the click and see the click. <laughs> Craziest thing ever. So that's what hunting is. Ups and downs, hills and valleys. Super excited, super pissed, super depressed. But just gotta keep plugging along and I'm happy. Happy this morning. Got right back out here. And uh, got set up on this guy on the roost, I think. Probably, I don't know, 200 yards away it seemed like. Then I could tell he was with some hens, so gave him some time. Took my time calling. Uh, spaced out my calling a lot, probably 15, 20 minutes. Got aggressive when I needed to, whenever the hen in the field was being aggressive with me. She worked her way in and Man, it was probably, I'd say that was every bit of a 65 yard shot. And it just works out so much better whenever you have the shell fully seated in the shotgun. Man, I'm excited guys, appreciate you guys being here. Um, hate it that that's kind of the end of turkey season, but hopefully get out and get some uh, video footage of my dad. Like to get him, uh, get behind the camera for him and get him on video kill him one so we'll see if that works out but weekends are busy with daughter's travel softball so I'm glad to get it done it's Friday we're leaving later today to go camping for her tournament so it's worked out perfect all right guys make sure you subscribe like this video share it out and uh, as always appreciate you guys being along for the ride and uh, we'll see you on the next one happy hunting be safe see ya bye